So I'm Tony Ball here, and today we're rating a one man, one, one rat doomstack. So we've got Tretch Craven Tail, the worst Skaven legendary lord, and he's got the Sword of Cain, and he's going up against a small army of Bretonia, a large army of the Empire, and another large army of Empire. So two and a half full stacks here. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long to beat or lose against. Um, and we've got. Stretch Cave and Tail's got the Sword of Cain dominating. If you have a look at his resistances, because that's like the main thing that makes these one-man Doomstack so powerful, is their ability to just not take damage. 57% um, ward save, plus 25% physical resistance. What's that? 83% physical resistance. 45% magic resistance. So that means 90%. That's capped. And, uh... Okay. Alright, well, let's just see how we go. So these banners over here, we've got to choose from. I guess the minus 8 leadership one could be okay. It's on very hard battle difficulty, so I wonder if maybe melee attack might be better. But I'm going to go with this. We'll just see how we go. Alright, um, I actually don't think we'll win this. Because Tretch Craven Tail only has, like, 4,000 hit points. Sure, he can regen, but that means he's going to get, like, five to 6,000 hit points. And there's a lot here. Yeah, I just, I just don't see how the battle will last long enough for him to deliver that many uh, uh, sort of canes. It's also on large unit scale, which I actually think if you're going to make a one unit doom stack, I'm fine with you sending it on large unit scale, but I believe it's stronger if you use it on ultra. I know in the past I've said that single entity units are slightly stronger on smaller unit scales, but that's because I take into consideration their individual hits versus like infantry units. Like it's a lot quicker for them to get rid of an infantry unit. But when you're playing a one-man doomstack and you're trying to utilize a sort of cane, you kind of want the battle to go on for as long as possible. Or you want your unit to go on for as long as possible. So you want that hit points to, to be a lot higher. It's on uh it's on very hard battle difficulty, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just go park ourselves near the reinforcements over here. Wait, should I? They've got Hellstorm Rocket Batteries. I'm going to do everything I can to win this. So why don't we let the Hellstorm Rocket Batteries hit their own units? We have no Menace Belows. I could have hired some Menace Belows, but honestly, I'm, I'm just dumb. Just, it's a one-man doomsday. Like, we'll just see how we go. So we'll go after Bretonia first. It's got a lot of weapon strength, decent stats. And yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just see how we go. I'm expecting nothing out of this. <laughs> Good start, Tretch. Look at me, I'm a shit rat. <laughs> Stop bullying me! me. Alright, where are we going to do this? On the on the Grail Knights, or them? I'll do it over here, because I might hit those ones there as well. Okay, and yeah, we'll see where we go. So that, that did a bit of damage there. We've got this here, which will give us bonus versus large. Uh, yeah, we'll use it, why not? <laughs> this wasn't happening to Grom. Look at that, we haven't dished out any damage on that Lord yet. Alright, so how much else do we have in total? We're looking at about 6,000 health in total, okay. Which isn't much. <laughs> he's just getting ragdolls. Ragdolls. Um, the thing is, when he's on the ground, he can't actually take damage. Um, in the previous battle with Grom, it was important to take out the Bowmen, but in this situation here, it's actually not, because Tretch is so small, the chances of them actually hitting us is, like, next to nothing. I've actually done some damage to him now. Okay, yeah, we don't want to be getting shot at point blank range though. Slay no 
So total damage he's taken has been about 400. Alright, this guy does look like he's gonna go down now. Good, good job, Tretch. Piece of shit. Well, he's, he's not taking much damage, so that's something. Alright, we can use another sort of cane. Uh, fuck it, just throw it here. Alright, we want to get in range of their artillery so that... I'm just trying to see where they're... I've got to. I've got to try to make my way over here. Shit, those guns are gonna destroy us. I need to use the cover of their enemy troops. Cause yeah, these guys here aren't shooting. If we want, if we want to win this, we have to use their artillery. Trench just can't dish out enough damage. We don't want to get shot by guns, too accurate. Alright, hang on, we got a sort of cane. Uh, okay, 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 where should we pass it down? Maybe there. Yeah, it's not gonna work when we're this close. Okay, so I've got to try to get to about here, or at, at the very least here with Tretch Cravendale, just so the enemy artillery can actually fire at us. Alright, so what's our total damage done so far? Yeah, we've almost used up our regen. Like I said, it's not going to do anything. Not enough to get out of that. Wait, wait, wait. Might be a better idea not to kill that fire wizard. Because if he decides to use uh, Burning Head on us, uh, it might hit his own units. Seems like the Hellstorm rocket battery wants to shoot at us. We just need to give them a clearer shot. Yep, there they go, there they go, they're gonna shoot their own troops. Nice. So we just need to every now and again get away from their units, let them shoot at us, and then get back into melee. That's it, that works for me. And what are these over here? Hellblaster volley guns. Great cannons, okay. That's it. Get them to kill their own troops, that's the way. Even if we do lose it, we've done a ton of damage to them. Well, more like they've done a ton of damage to themselves. If we have a look at how much damage they've done, 
9,000 damage. That, now, that counts their damage done to their own units. It's not damage done to us, because that would have killed Tretch. So yeah, they're dishing out quite a lot of damage to their own troops there. Oh, look at this one. It's going to be good. Well, it would have if any of their units were here. Alright, so he's pretty good at, at du uh, dueling them. That's not a problem. Yeah, I'm just concerned that they're going to run out of ammo. Oh, delicious. Delicious. But yeah, we should be using the sort of cane maybe on their, like, missile units. See, all the other one-man doom stacks were able to get, like, two... Uh, tw what was it? Uh, 2,000 kills with them. Not Tretch. No, not Tretch. We have to actually use the own enemy's stupidity against them. That's the only way to win. If they didn't have all this artillery, I don't know if this would be possible. So... We're almost at our max regen. This is really where size does matter, where the bigger you are, the easier it is to do damage to you, whereas being tiny like this is actually really helpful for Tretch. They just can't hit him. Sick, can you kill that life wizard? Maybe next time. Alright, there's our max regen cap just about reached. Oh, just fantastic. Thanks for the assist. So yeah, checking their damage again. This Hellstorm rocket battery. 17,000 damage onto their own troops. Which, if we have a look at Tretch... I mean, he's dealt out 54,000 damage, but that's largely just due to the Sword of Cane ability. Fantastic. So, like, whose side are you on? I thought I was the Skaven here. <laughs> the secret to immortality in this game is line your back. Kolex Sun Eater, Sword of Cain, like 87% ward save. You think that's good? Nah, just lie on your back. 100% ward save. Can't be hurt. Now, there was a steam tank around here, wasn't there? Yeah, that's going to have to be dealt with if we want to win, because we... They're unbreakable. So these guys here could just leave us alone a little bit. Alright, well, most of their basic troops are gone now. Just the last little bit of cleanup, and then somehow have to get rid of these steam tanks. Shoot your friends as much as possible. Still not sure if we're gonna win because uh, there's still a lot of missile units here.
Okay, so far so good. Good, get rid of these heroes, because they get in my way, and they probably do the most damage to us, apart from the guns. Good, that's it, bomb your own troops, and let's get rid of these gunners here. Come on, get over that one there. If you can just touch it, make them go berserk. Make them come at me in melee. No. Ah, uh, you gotta love it when they get shot by their own troops. There's no way they've done 6,400 damage to Tretch, because that's all of his health. They must be doing a lot of friendly fire. Yes, good, hitting their own units there. Get those gunners out of here. Kill them. So let's escort them off the battlefield. Mm, they're not going to let me get any closer. Might as well have to finish them off. I think that'll come back. Okay, good, they're gone. Alright, we're pretty low on health now. Should be able to defeat the steam tank without too much difficulty in melee, especially with that kind of weapon strength. And this one here is almost out of ammo, so we'll, we should be able to get fairly close to it. They're starting to run out of ammo on the Hillstorm Walker batteries. There's still the Hellblaster Volley guns, they haven't used any ammo, but... I don't know. We'll figure something out for that. Maybe I can stalk up to them. Yeah, I thought they were going to come back. See, well, he's on his back. He can't take damage. Good, that one's out of ammo. This one here's still got a fair bit left. So try to zigzag so we don't get hit and knocked back. Good, nice hit on the general there. Attack, attack. Should I take three or four hits to kill him? Good job, Tretch. Alright, there's the army losses for the Empire, so we don't even have to deal with the Hellblaster Volley Guns. Now all I gotta do is take out the... The steam tanks. So, what do you know? We actually ended up winning. I wasn't really sure if I was gonna get that much friendly fire with the... Okay, maybe to take this one out first. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to get that much um, friendly fire done, but yeah, those Hillstorm rocket batteries. I mean, if you have a look at Tretch, we, we only got 451 kills. We went up against 2,400 troops. Um, the, the Hellstorm rocket batteries really won us this battle. There's no way Tretch would have won without that help. I mean, we are still got a bit of health, but not that much. Okay, one more hit there. Let's 
So try to dodge it as we get close. It's harder the closer we get, and take it out. Well, there you go. Tretch managed to win this. How about that? Come on, Tretch. All right, there we go. <laughs> well, I can honestly say I've never seen Tretch do this well before in a battle. So yeah, if we see how much, how many kills there actually were, there's about 1,200 unaccounted for kills. Uh, that was the Hellstorm rocket batteries. That's like one third of the total amount of enemy kills was done by their own troops. So... You picked the right enemy to use Tretch Craven Tail against. But yeah, if we were to just be stuck in there, keep fighting, then we would have lost. For sure. So I'm not necessarily going to rate this super highly because of that. Well, let's just have a look and see what traits you did manage to get for him. Just waiting for our turn. Some weird things going up over here. Okay, let's have a look at him. Oh, he was also winning camp stance, so give him extra five melee defense. All right, let's have a look at what traits he got. All right, let's see here. Who did you defeat? Troll Hunter. That's pretty good. That's probably where we're able to take out their lords and stuff so easily. That huge bonus versus large. Because he's got a lot of bonus versus large normally. Yeah, it's very high. Um, took out Rakath as well. Yeah, focused a lot on bonus versus large. Not too bad. Uh, charge bonus. Yeah, didn't really get a good chance to charge. Uh, that was very useful. Gained from a quest. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't even didn't even know you get that. Um... Yep, took out Ungrim, took out Azag, that's very good as well. Sora Smiter, that's a really important one if you do want to make it a, a uh, one-man doom stack. That's a lot of melee defense. Malice, eh, it's okay. 30 extra melee, uh, well, weapon, armor-piercing weapon strength. Same thing with Grim Gorks, with a bit of armor on top of it. Yeah, um, don't need to go get uh, Isabella's trait, obviously, because he's already got regen. It won't stack with it, because it's the same ability. Um... But yeah, I think he did a good job in making Tretch strong. It looks like his campaign's kind of gone a bit weird. Yeah. Um, how to rate something like this? Uh, it's not going to be rated that highly because... It's Tretch Craven Tail. Like, you don't, you don't need this. You just don't need it as Skaven. And you can do this kind of shit with Plague Priests. As, oh, sorry, Plague Gracie is if you just ambush them. So, having one rat take out an entire army, that's not uncommon. You just you don't need sort of cane to do that. Um, so, I'm probably going to rate this like 6 out of 10. Just because, for one thing, Tretch actually didn't do that much damage. We only won the battle because the enemy was so stupid. And Sword of Cain, while it doesn't really hurt the Skaven that much, it still does. And Tretch Craven Tail just doesn't have anything else to offer. Like... Like we, we didn't win the battle because of Tretch, so um, it was impressive just because the, the AI was so stupid, that's all. So yeah, I'm going to give this 6 out of 10. This is not a recommended one-man Doomstack, I don't recommend doing this, unless you just want to do it for the lols, because Tretch Craventail really doesn't have that much value uh, normally anyway, so you gotta do something with it, might as well have some fun. But anyway, that's the end of this one. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this particular one-man doomstack. Whether you think I'm being a bit too harsh. I honestly think I'm being a bit generous with a 6 out of 10. Um, I'm inclined to give him like a 4, but no, I'll stick him with... Like, he, he did okay. Like, he has a lot of resistances. He's, he put a lot of effort into doing this. Um, I just think Tretch Craven Tail just doesn't have that much potential in general. Like, his items suck. Like, look at this one here. Um, Lucky Skull Helm. Uh, active if losing in melee. It's awesome, awesome. Do you know what the funny thing is? Is that if this activates, um, and then you start winning, well then it doesn't activate again. 
So it's it's kind of silly, but anyway, that's the well. It does until you until you lose again. It does last 17 seconds. I just think it's a shit uh, item. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. Uh, leave a comment down below on what you think of this uh, one-man doomstack and some ideas for future one-man doomstacks. Because I'm curious to hear what you guys think would be the most interesting ones. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.